Health experts are sounding the alarm over a new variant that's fueling a surge in cases across the country. It's called XBB 1.5, and it's being called the most transmissible Omicron subvariant detected so far. According to the CDC, in just four weeks, cases of the new variant have increased by nearly 20 percent. Here at home in Michigan, 9,800 new COVID cases over a seven-day period were announced. That breaks down to about 1,400 new cases a day. This week, the Ann Arbor School District announced a two-week mask mandate, while the Wayne County Health Department also recommends the same. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid has an in-depth look at what you need to know about the new variant and how soon it can become dominant here in Metro Detroit. Deborah, I see you're wearing a mask. Are you concerned about the new COVID variant? Oh, yes, yes. That and um, um, other things besides that. A retired senior citizen, Deborah Setways, is referring to flu and RSV cases along with COVID. Now with the sub-variant XBB 1.5 in play, Dr. Matthew Sims from Corwell Health East says post-holidays, folks should be concerned. It exploded basically in New York and New England, and then a week or so later, it went down the coast into Florida, into Texas. It hasn't really come this way yet, so you think we'll be hit sometime next week? Yeah, probably within the next week or two, we're going to see those numbers for XBB 1.5 go up here in Michigan, is my guess. While there is no evidence so far that XBB 1.5 is more virulent than its predecessors, Dr. Sims tells me the Omicron subvariant is highly transmissible, but hospitalizations in ICU cases are still low. The vaccines don't work quite as well. They still give uh, reasonable protection, especially if you've had the bivalent booster. It does look like it'll still give enough protection to keep people out of the hospital, to save people's lives, um, but it's not going to prevent you from getting it, probably. Since the start of the pandemic, we have seen several prominent variants, including Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Omicron, not to mention their subvariants. That's why, as part of the evolution of viruses, experts say XBB 1.5 will not be the last. A person got infected with two different strains and when those strains were in that person they recombined so they took a little from one and a little from the other and made xbb just to be clear doctors like yourself you're not mm -hmm. saying stop living like no, you did back in, no, no. in 2020 we have to live with this it's not going away meanwhile some companies have restarted covid safety protocols sunday akin bode works for a tech company and he tells me while he can still work from home his co-workers who still go to the office are back to the drawing board what kind of precautions are they taking uh the six feet distance uh wearing mask and uh, using the uh hand sense. Make sure they're clean all the time, yeah. Now, besides getting vaccinated and boosted, Dr. Sim says your best protection against existing or new variants is still going to be social distancing, masking, and hand sanitizing when and wherever possible. Reporting from Royal Oak, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.